Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm doing an ultra, ultra quick video on how to remove these really, really stubborn tire stains from your epoxied floor. Now, if you have a nicely epoxy floor or a premiumly done epoxy floor, the coating will not allow any chemicals from the tires to leach into the floor coating. Now, what I did to kind of cut a corner was I recoated my old floor with a coating from the store, one of the best ones from Lowe's or Home Depot. And because it's not commercial grade, it allowed the chemical compounds from all of the cars. Now, this is the old Acura. We have the race car, has the same thing. And well, obviously, because the tires on that are so wide, it's really bad. Then we got the uh, spaceship, mommy spaceship, as we call it. Same thing. So it's not a uh, necessarily a compound issue where, you know, it's only high performance tires or summer tires. No, this is a leaching process from the chemicals that they put into the tire. And as the tire cools, it, uh, the compound of the chemicals themselves will basically translate or migrate from the rubber in the tire into the clear coating. If again, it's non-commercial, not the premium stuff. Now again, I thought I was buying the premium stuff, but this is what you get. Now the whole point of the video is how to remove them easily because I thought I was basically screwed because I cut a corner. What I did was I tried some goof off, just sprayed it on evenly and I already applied the stuff. Literally just coat it back and forth, left and right, very lightly. And I've used both a microfiber towel and kind of a kind of stiff bristle brush. The brush works the best. Let me show you. This area has already been treated. Ooh. Now again, this is not that much elbow grease, right? I'm still holding the phone. Just work it back and forth. And boom, the stain is gone. Now some of the residual stuff that you're seeing here, a little bit of that residue, it looks a little bit like the stain is still there. It's basically just built up stained coating that we've removed. So I'm gonna come in with a vacuum or shop vac in a sec and get all that stuff. But look at that, took all that off. That's completely clear. That used to look like this. Now let's hit this one here too. Now of the three spots I've done already out of the four, this is the one that's been hitting the, or waiting the longest, so I'm gonna freshen it up. And again, instantly, stiff bristle brush. This is a, a shorter uh, kind of sweep, sweeping brush head basically, but it's got the firmer bristles, so it's a little bit better than the microfiber towel. Back and forth. Well, what I'll do is probably just hit some of the area around it, just to kind of even it out, because sometimes you park slightly different, um, you know, a few inches forward, a few inches back, basically. So it's probably a better idea just to kind of hit a larger area as opposed to just the, the immediately stained area. But I just wanted to share with you guys that there is a way to remove these without any drama, just a little bit of elbow grease and some goof off. I think both items combined are 15 bucks, probably $5 for this, $10 for that, and Look at these nice clean floors. Now, this is what it's doing is removing the cheaper coating that I put on and going down to the base coat, which is the nicer commercial one. So in terms of any difference in coloration, that will go even much, much sooner than later because over the months ahead, we'll get more staining and everything will look more even, but it shouldn't be as dark. Um, anyways, you guys, I hope this helped you out. If you liked the video, make sure to uh, hit that uh, like and subscribe button. And we'll catch you on the next one.